folks, welcome back to Instant Screaming. Today we have Netflix features, Hashtag Horror, and The Invitation. Hashtag Horror is a slasher mystery about the dangers of social media and cyberbullying. It follows a group of rich middle school girls at a sleepover as they jockey for likes by posting their photos on a, a gamified social media network. They alternate between viciously mocking each other and sleepover hijinks until they start dying. Now I hesitate to call this an art film because it's fairly traditional in most respects, just with these really odd bubbles of weirdness, almost like somebody's art project. One of the stranger bits is the random insertions of the social media game, which looks like this hyperactive cross between Bejeweled and Video Roulette. Whenever the girls post photos, this thing pops up on screen and displays points and combos. But the biggest problem that this movie has is that there is not a single decent or functional human being among the entire cast. Except maybe this contractor that's only in the movie for about five minutes, but everybody here is an awful person. The girls are just little monsters that psychologically torture their friends and the adults are completely dysfunctional. And pretty much all of them are raging narcissists. They're just not nice people to watch. The movie also seems to be very confused about what social media messages it's pushing and also doesn't seem to understand how social media works. Now moving on, The Invitation is a charming story about a man who takes his new girlfriend to his ex-wife's house for a dinner party that the ex-wife and her new boyfriend are throwing for all of their old friends. Things are, are awkward. Now, the Invitation is a pretty beautiful movie, although it's just a bit dull for me. See, the uncomfortable atmosphere of the party and the ex-wife's involvement in some weird cult works really well and pretty quickly to hit a tone that it's going for, and the way the, the movie slowly feeds out its backstory is pretty effective. It's just my problem is that it drags all that out for just way too long. I mean, after a while, I was sitting there going, yeah, I, I get it already, it's uncomfortable. And I'm just waiting for the movie to do something different and progress itself at all. Now, eventually it does pop a twist, and the last sprint is a whole lot of fun, but I really felt like it dragged its heels getting there, although it was really well shot while it was doing it. All right, those two are it for today's since Instant Screaming. Hopefully the quick looks help you out. If you have any other movies that you want to talk about, hit up the comments section below. Also, feel free to like and subscribe for more videos. We have a Facebook and a Twitter if you want to get in touch, or uh, just comment below and let me know how you'd like to keep in touch with the show. Anyway, cheers.